We're getting released! Yes! Yes! It's happening! I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. <laughs> but. Have I put together a schedule of when I will be here to see my girls? Of course I have. Absolutely. How much time will I not be here? Sleeping time? Sleeping time. And maybe a couple meals. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so I have to get packed up and we're gonna head down to the NICU and say goodbye for a little bit and then come back later, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what we'll do. Ooh, I'm so excited to go home. <laughs> Sleeping. Sunday in your cute little <laughs> goggles. <laughs> It's funny, they only come in purple. So, <laughs> she's Hopefully matching. I don't mind purple, but purple's my favorite color. It's <laughs> the only thing it comes in, so. That's funny. There we go. You sleep away. Yeah. And you breathe. So you don't have to go on oxygen. <laughs> I'm work on that, honey. Bye. Bye, Sunbaker. Bye. Enjoy your tanning. <laughs> They have drowned us, that's why this is happening. So it will go away in a couple days, huh? So I like your goggles. You got milk now. She does. Bye, baby. Okay, going home for the first time. Oh, honey, it'll be okay. Don't like this. Don't weep. Try it. You can weep if you want to. It's natural. It's a sad time. Because you just carried these babies for seven months and you were like, I can't wait to have them. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you can't have them yet. And they were just always with me. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. It's okay. Well, we're gonna go home, get some sleep. Cause I'm ornery, hungry, and tired. So, here we go. Did you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a level of exhaustion that I don't understand. Never had it before. I don't know what's happening to my body. <laughs> well, we stopped off at uh, Stone Drug to get Liesl her prescriptions. But look, they have like a little snack bar over there. That's fun. It's like an old-timey pharmacy. Yeah. It's like an old-timey A soda drug shop. Store. Drug store. Drug store. Stone Drug. We're in a drug store. But the spoilage has already begun. Let me just show you what I received. Or purchased. You didn't receive it, you purchased it. Um, these are adorable. They're the little bibs that look like scarves. Don't worry, there's another one. Are you kidding me? These are cute, these are the cutest things. And our daughters will wear them one day. One day. So, <laughs> we're just sitting here, ready to get some food, because I we haven't eaten practically all day. And I'm just like sitting here with my hand by my mouth and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, my hand smells like my baby. And I just like sat there and sniffed it. And Lisa was like, oh, so is mine. So is mine, you're right. And we were just like, oh, we're hopeless everyone. We've been away from our children for like an hour. For only an hour. And we, we're just like, I mean, we went how many hours in the hospital, but the fact that we're like not down the hallway from them. That I'm we can't like, just up and go. Yeah. We'll be fine. I'll make it through. I might cry a lot. Don't cry. You can cry. I'll let you. Great. It'll be okay. Just sniff your hand for a while. Mm. It smells like a baby. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, people. <laughs> we zonked out when we got home. We took a long nap and then we've just kind of been hanging out. Liesl has been pumping away. And look, she got so much. Three syringes full. She's vastly improving. <laughs> it's amazing what can happen when you actually have blood. Um, but we are on our way to the NICU. 
Just a little update, Ella had to get oxygen today because she was fluctuating a lot in her oxygen levels. So they put her on oxygen just to be safe, but that's okay. It's very common, but we are on our way to go see them and feed them and hold them. So we will see you when we get there. Okay, what does that say? 36.5. Okay. So our parameters are 36.5 to 37.5. Okay. Let me put something under here. There it is. <laughs> well, we just sat here and talked to you for like five minutes, but my camera is doing that weird memory card error thing again, so no one knows what's wrong. Okay, quick summary. What have we talked about? Oh, I normally don't like to end vlogs in bed. But I wanted to show you that we are home and cozy in bed. So here we are. In our own bed. What else did we say that has now been um, deleted? <laughs> We're empty, parents. Empty Surprise. Empty cribs are sad. Empty crib is sad. But the babies were happy that... First I said that they're doing happy and healthy. But that they're doing well. Um, then we talked about how it's weird that we're parents. And Liesl said to me once... That it's kind of still surreal because it's like, I'm a mom, but somebody else is taking care of my child 24-7. Yep. So. And then I asked her. When, when I'm going to start my own channel. And I said, when I'm less tired. When I'm less tired. Uh, which may never happen. True. But the channel will. Because there are a lot of things that no one tells you in preparation for having children. And especially in preparation for having children in the NICU. No one tells you a lot of things. So well, that's just so, and I guess a lot of my things that are like no one told me might just be because everybody's different, and so your body responds differently. Yeah. But we're totally gonna do a what I wish I'd known yeah. video. Yeah. Because I can tell you the things that happened to me, and then you can be prepared just in case they happen to you. Yeah. Because there were things that I was like, why is this happening? <laughs> so. Um. Also, maybe I'll tell you tomorrow about a lot of things that were on my mind this week about privacy. <laughs> I never got it. <laughs> oh well. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone in labor and delivery and postpartum has seen all of my naked body well, at some yeah. point. So Yeah. Uh. There was there's just moments. There was just moments where I just wanted to be left alone with my wife and my children. But people felt the need to come in and just like spew all their information. Which, and, like, unannounced. Just, like, is now a good time? Okay. And, like, of course we're not going to say no. We're not that rude. <laughs> but sometimes I wanted to. I wanted to be like, just leave us alone. <laughs> just go away. But they were doing their jobs. Our babies are in the NICU. And I'm sure a lot of parents are stressed out by that. But I have never been stressed out that my children are in the NICU. It doesn't not once. stress me out. Like, it makes me sad because I wish they were home in my arms. But, like, it doesn't stress me out because if that's where they need to be, like, I'd rather they were there being taken care of than here where something could go wrong. True. My biggest thing is, was I didn't necessarily, like, I know Derek had a lot of feelings about people in the NICU when we were with the babies coming in and, like, interrupting baby time. But my sleep got interrupted so much. Yeah, Liesl sleep. They were like, okay, mama, you need to rest up. Like, get your rest. Because, like, I lost a ton of blood. Um, plus like, you know, I went through labor, so that's traumatic yeah. enough. Plus all the other things that happened to me and everyone kept being like, you need to rest, you need to rest, you need to rest. And then they were always just like coming into my room between the hours, usually of like 6am and 8am <laughs> and just like walking in and being like, let me tell you everything that's going on today or everything you need to know about insurance or pumping or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just like, I can never sleep because people keep coming into yes. my room. Yes, it's terrible. That's the one thing that <laughs> everyone was like, now she needs to get her rest. She needs to sleep. But they were like poking her every hour. They're like drawing blood. They were 
Yeah, like, can someone explain to me why blood has to be drawn at 4 o'clock in the morning? My nurse definitely apologized for that because she was like, I don't know why it has to be. She didn't even know why they needed to draw it at 4 o'clock in the morning. But that, those were her instructions to do a 4 a.m. blood draw. Yeah. What? Yeah. Anyway, all of these things will be said once Lizzo gets her own channel and we make a things they don't tell you about going into labor and or having children. But for now, we sleep. Oh yeah, I'm so tired. So, thank you for watching today. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Welcome to all the newcomers. We love the newcomers. Welcome, welcome. As always, have courage. And be kind. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.